come close to me, come ye down from crucified tree, and let me know just where I stand, holding on to no pissed hands, and the God of who reigns high above will come day by day to bring his love to save. So Lord, come close to me. So, Ron, what was the inspiration for O oh Lord, Come Close to Me? Well, Ross, it happened um, <clears throat> after a study at, um, with you uh, on the book of James. And I went home that night and I read this book of James again, right through, and I, I got this inspiration to... Um, it started off as poetry. And uh, then I thought, okay, or it's, well, I actually started off as a prayer, actually, and then I put it into poetry, and then I tweaked it a bit more and said, well, it can be a song. Have you written poetry before? I've tried. I've tried to write bits of poetry of my uh, journey through life, yes. So how did the uh, song part of Oh Lord, Come Close to Me come to you? Well, I, I must say it, 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 it didn't happen immediately, of course, but it was all the poetry, the prayer, and then I thought, well, a song, yes, that would be very nice if I could turn it into a song, and then it, it almost came to me immediately, and I took it from there. And then, so you wrote it, and then you no doubt started singing it. What was it like as you were singing this song? As I started to sing the song, I sort of, got into a, um, a space of my own sort of thing and thought, yes, this is um, amazing that this is happening just because I've read a chapter of uh, James in the Bible. And uh, the, the more I sung it, the more I liked it, of course. And I thought, gee, this is going to sound good. I'll try it out on uh, my home group next Sunday. <laughs> and they loved it. And, Yes, apparently, yes. Mm. Well, thanks, Ron. Thanks very much for sharing this lovely song with us. And through YouTube, thanks for sharing it with the world too. Thanks, Ross. Yeah, thank you.